Shit. Shit. Aye. Aye. Nice chain, red ball man. Chain swing, like pretty thing. Ew. Thing is, get out. I'm making a video. I really screenshotted all these questions. Who did I think I was this morning? Because I'm not answering all these. Why are my lips shedding? Why? My friend's about to come pick up her present and I look like a motherfucking bum. Feeling kind of mischievous today. I don't know what kind of look I'm going for. Look at my neck bling blah. No. Should I put on my little hat? Looking good. Everybody's always trying to say that I'm eating these for like a certain reason. Guys, I'm only 14. Y'all need to PG yourselves. Y'all are inappropriate. I just like pineapples. I hate it here. But as you saw, I went on my Instagram story and I asked you guys to ask me any type of questions that you guys want because I realized that I've never done a Q&A, which is kind of ghetto of me. I don't know who let me make a YouTube channel without making a Q&A as my first video, but okay. I've never made a Q&A and literally everything you guys know about me is just stuff that like I've told you but I've never answered questions or anything like that. I probably have, but like not on my actual YouTube channel. So that's that. That's the video today. I'm also getting ready to go to LA with my family. I don't know if we're going anymore actually because my mom's really sick right now and... I mean, if I were her, I wouldn't want to go, but... But yeah, I don't know if we're going anymore, but like... I still don't want to be ugly for the day, so that's the plan. I'm also going to show you guys my everyday makeup routine. I actually have like a pretty solid routine right now because... I have some acne right now. I don't know if you can see, it looks like that. Not really the fave, not really enjoying it, but... I mean, it's there. So just enjoy it. Have you guys seen that TikTok? I have too. The thing I use is like this mattifying primer because my skin gets so oily. It's disgusting. Okay, so first question is take back. Oh, okay, I'm not gonna say his name. Okay, take back your ex. Um, no, mm -mm. Actually, I have nothing against him. Like he's a really cool person, and I'm so and I'm actually really glad I got to date him because he like showed me a lot of different things. Yeah, I wouldn't take him back because like yeah, he was a big part of my life, but there's no reason to like. I don't know if you guys have heard that metaphor, but it's like you can reread the book a hundred times and it's still gonna have the same ending. That's low key what I think about like about relationships. Like I just try not to redo relationships because I feel like it's always gonna end the same. Like it's never gonna work, and that's what I think would happen if I did get back with him, just because it's that type of relationship like there's no progress there's no growth but yeah I don't want anybody to think I hate him or we hate each other or like I'm talking shit about him that's just the truth okay next question oh by the way I use the professional primer what are your pros and cons about doing YouTube I actually have a lot to say about this question kind of crazy wow Okay, I'm gonna try to do this question the most respectful way I can. Okay, pros, I'm gonna do that first. Pros is I have an amazing fan base. Obviously, money, fame. Um, I don't really like the fame, but like the money part, I can fuck with it. Obviously, I'm not just doing YouTube for the money, but like that is a pro about doing YouTube. And I have like the opportunity to help out my family and my friends and stuff with the money that I do get. So that's a really big part. But having like such an influence on people, I feel like that's a good and bad thing. And like, people who have a platform the way I do, like they always use it in different ways i low-key like having an influence on people like i like that people can look up to me for some things some things you know i make mistakes i'm only 15 i don't want people to treat me like i'm not oh that's a con one con is that people act like i'm not 15 and like expect me to be this like big super person like acting like i'm not a normal ass teenager and i don't do normal ass teenager things i hate the fact that just because i have followers like people expect me to act a different way like really unrealistic and it gets me so mad that people expect so much of me but I'm just a teenager I'm like a regular ass person I literally always forget that I'm like no like I'll just be like I'll just be like vibing and then like somebody will ask me for a picture and I'll be like oh yeah huh I forgot <laughs> I'll like forget I'm a youtuber but 
that's a con yeah, most of the pros is just that i have like a really cool fan base like i always have people to talk to whenever i'm bored i could just like go live and like people will watch i think that's really cool people actually care about my opinion and that's like always been something that i was really insecure about when i was little um not little like sixth grade maybe like i was small but I always feel like really unimportant like i felt like i was always like the last choice and that's not that's not like with anything family but like that's it was like mostly my friends like i always felt like i was like the last choice like nobody really cared about me kind of sad and once i started like blowing up i guess people like really started to make me feel important and i was like fuck i kind of like this i'm gonna fuck with it so cold i think i'm done with ice burr if you leave that i'm gonna die i don't even think that's how it goes to being real with you okay and then the cons is yeah people have like really unrealistic expectations of me and it eats me alive um just kidding the other thing is it's a lot of pressure in like a bunch of different ways like i feel like i'm forced in this bubble of like happy and like i always have to be like presentable and i always have to say the right thing or else i'll get canceled <laughs> cancel culture that's a whole other different thing that i don't even care about so i'm not going to talk about i hate the fact that i'm forced in like a mold like i have to be a certain type of way to be liked or i have to be a certain type of way to like not have people hate me another thing is i low-key had to like grow up faster like i don't know if you guys know what i mean but it's like i feel like i just had to like mature faster like i feel like if i was up here like on a youtube channel and i was acting the way like other 15 year olds act at my school or just like other sophomores because obviously sophomores they were still like kids like we're not grown we still have really childish mindsets i feel like i had to like leave my childishness in the past or else like it would really come for me in the future it's not good to have like a really immature mindset when you're on the internet because people will come for you and i know that for a fact another thing is like just going to school and like people having like these made up assumptions about you that's not even just in school that's just in general like, yeah i guess when you have followers i don't know who came up with this theory but when you have followers people just automatically think you're stuck up you just think you're all that in a bag of chips but really that is not the case I literally want to be friends with everybody at my school I love people, I love talking, I love people I just hate that people have these like made up assumptions about me Like just like out of nowhere I don't know if you guys like know where I live But where I live there's like a couple like famous like known people There's a lot of kind of known TikTok people here And like I'll hear people talking about them like from my school But they don't go to my school I hear people talking about them talking about like they're like stuck up and all this And like I'm like do you even know them like that? Like, they just have these thoughts, like, these expectations about you before they even meet you. And I'm like, shut the fuck up. God damn. That's literally how I feel. Like, if you don't know me, you don't know me. Like, don't act like you know me. Because very few people, like, really personally know me. Alright, next question. I don't know why I talk so much. How's your school life? Um, my school life is currently on the floor. Hmm. I'm actually uh, gonna be online schooled for a little bit. Which is kind of ghetto, because I used to talk so much shit about online school. But in my defense... It is not my choice. My mom is making me. She's holding me against my will. <sighs> so life is kind of hard right now. But I'm only going for like three weeks because my mom wants to make a point, which is restarted. But whatever. Whatever floats her boat. Whatever is the dip on her chip. So I'm going to be back making school vlogs, breaking the rules. Who gonna stop me? Yeah, and I'm also still in soccer If anybody, if anybody's curious because I know you guys are. I know. But yeah, school life's whatever. My grades, eh. My GPA, eh. But am I happy? Yes. That's all that matters. Just kidding. All right, we're gonna do mascara. The roller lash. This is my favorite because my eyelashes are small, so I need to enhance them any way I can. I'm on the fourth question, and I'm also. I'm on the fourth question, and I'm almost done with my makeup. What is this? Have you had any surgeries? Yes, I've had two. So one is on my stomach because I got in a car accident when I was really small. Yeah, so I got a surgery and I also got a nose job, so. Okay, biggest regret in 2019. We don't speak of that year. I don't fuck with her. I have a lot of regrets in 2019 because I was really, like, messing up at the end of the year. Like, I was just... I was, I was being kind of loco. I was just acting kind of crazy, you know, acting out, being me. I have a lot of regrets. One of my biggest regrets, though, is probably staying in a really bad relationship, I guess. It was actually really good in the beginning. I don't want to make it seem like it was bad the whole time and, like, I just stayed in this weird relationship for so long for no reason. Yeah, it just started getting really bad at the end and I kind of regret staying in that because at the end, it really took a toll on me. 
I mean, I was in that relationship for a really long time, like almost two years. So like, I just became really dependent and really attached to him. And I regret that too. Like, I regret like letting myself get to that point, you know? And I also regret a lot of other things. Like I regret smoking because it was not worth it. So if you're planning on smoking, don't. Anyways, guys, crack hole. Dang, how did I do that so smooth? I didn't even get none. Get some. No, I didn't. Hey, okay, 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 okay. Damn, this is about to be long. All right, hold on. My camera, my camera just glitched. I'm a little scared. How'd you get over your ex? It helped me a lot. Okay, this is gonna be like the last question about my ex. I feel like I just talked about him for like five minutes already and he don't deserve that much watch time. Okay, so how I got over my ex is a secret. Just kidding. All right, bro. All right. Um, honestly, it took me a while to get over him because like once we broke up, I kept finding out a bunch of different things and I was like, wow, so you did this while we were dating and this and that and I just couldn't get over it. I'll be completely honest, the way that I got over it was finding a rebound and we didn't even do anything. Like we literally just texted. <laughs> it helped me a lot. I don't recommend it, but it did help me a lot. It only helped me a lot because like it was his friend. So I was like, but I don't recommend it because after that, like after I got over him, I was like, well, I don't need you either. So now I feel kind of bad. Please don't use this against me. Where do you get most of your clothes? So I shop at a lot of different places. Whenever I used to dress like kind of weird and like super colorful, I would shop at Dolls Kill and like Delia's. That was like pretty much where I got like a lot of my clothes. But now I mostly shop at like PacSun, Hollister. I find a lot of stuff online. I also shop on Depop a lot. If you guys don't know what Depop is, it's like this app where you can buy and sell used clothes. It's like thrifting, but you just buy it online. I always find like the coolest stuff ever on that app, so I would definitely recommend it okay but also this video is being sponsored by honey obviously online shopping is supposed to be really easy but sometimes it's hard to like find coupon codes online but with honey it doesn't have to be so honey is a free online shopping tool that automatically applies the best coupon codes and promo codes to your cart so how it works is you can just be shopping on any of your favorite stores like zawful hollister ulta forever 21 there will be a box that comes down and if you click it it automatically applies all coupon codes that honey received for you and wait a few seconds for honey to find all the promo codes online and then you could just watch the prices drop so for me i got two pairs of shoes on paxson and i ended up applying the codes and i ended up saving 14 dollars i'm super happy because paxson's hella expensive and the fact that i even saved any money using a free website that's pretty cool honey has found that its 17 million members have saved over 2 billion dollars altogether in savings and honey also supports over 30,000 different stores not having honey is literally just passing up free money and it's so easy to download you can just install it in two clicks so you can get honey for free at joinhoney.com slash des that's joinhoney.com slash des so thank you to honey make sure to check them out and now we're gonna move on to the next question how did you and v rekindle your guys's friendship i love Verena. she is literally such a nice person like you could think like people can think i'm nice but like compared to her she is like an angel and i'm not even just saying that like she has like the best intent Really? She just has like the best intentions and she's so fun to be around. It's like no bad vibes at all. Like you can just tell like when you're around her, it's just like, I don't know how to describe it, but she's such a good person. And me and her like rekindled our friendship. I think, I think we texted each other or something like a few months after. Um, can my dog dead ass pipe down? I know he hears me. It was like a couple months after like our whole argument in January. It was actually last January or last December. It's crazy that it's been a whole year. We resolved it pretty quickly and it was like pretty easy because like we were both completely over at the time. Also VidCon was coming up and we were gonna like meet up with each other and we also didn't want it to be awkward. That would have been so weird. And now things are really good. Like we did a whole meet and greet with each other. We filmed a video for Awesomeness TV with each other. Like things are really good and I'm really glad that me and her are friends now. Love her. Oh, yeah, okay, I'm using... Alright, I'll film this later. Alright, I'm back. I just ate the fattest burrito of my life. It's Mac though. Yeah, I don't know what this is called, but it's just their blush palette. They sent it to me and I just use these two shades and then I do this. Pretty self-explanatory, am I right? And that's the routine, but I'm gonna keep answering questions because I like answering questions. And I didn't really answer a lot right now. Yeah. Oh shoot, never mind. I forgot one last step. It's eyebrow gel. I don't know why this is that color. It's supposed to be clear, but not really, not really my problem. 
Um, honestly, I kind of hate this question because like I feel like people are like, oh, why'd you change? Like, did you expect me to stay the same person my whole life? The fuck? Okay, my dog really just, my dog said. All right, so I'm back for the last time. If anything happens, I'm just not finishing the video. I'm just gonna keep my hair natural for the day. I might straighten it. Nah, nah, it looks good. You look good. Honestly, what changed me is just the fact that I got out of like a... Hmm. Oh, since I'm not doing my makeup anymore, I just have this shitty lighting. It's not really that big of a thing. Honestly, what really changed me, I think like I was already kind of like getting out of my like really childish like e-girl style. I wouldn't call it childish, not like childish, but I feel like it was just really girly, like really colorful really everything you know already like low-key getting out of that style but also like i feel like once i got out of my relationship i just felt like this urge to like redo myself it was weird but like i feel like it really did help like once i redid myself and i had like low-key kind of a glow up um i feel like i just felt a lot better about myself and i felt a lot better about like doing new things like when i was in my relationship i was like so stuck in like the same thing like repeat same thing every day looking the same acting the same talking to the same people like i felt like i needed something new and something that i wanted to be new was me so I just changed me. I want to say that my breakup changed me because it really did like change me in a lot of different ways. Like physically, mentally, spiritually, financially. Literally financially. I got way more confident and I know a lot of people see me as like cocky and like really full of myself. And I know I can come off that way. But really most of the time I'm joking. If you're in that type of situation, then I feel like you should change for yourself. Like I don't want to, I didn't want to be the same person that I was when he broke up with me. Because I was like rock bottom, like lowest tier. And... Then I got better and I changed and I think I changed into a better person to be honest. Some people don't agree but... Alright, next question is what's your biggest pet peeve? I have so many pet peeves because just like the littlest... I low-key think I have anger issues because like people can do like the smallest, most like harmless thing and it'll irritate me so much. Like one that I really can't explain why it gets me mad is like when my mom will be like talking to me and she'll like try to pronounce something. It'd be like something so simple like I remember when Princess Polly sponsored me she would like talk to me about it and then she would like pronounce Princess Polly wrong and I'm like Are you dumb? It's not rocket science. Like, I don't know why every time she did that, it like struck a nerve in me. And like, I even told her that. I was like, I hate when you mispronounce stuff. Like, I don't know what it is. It literally like gets me mad. Like, I don't yell at her or anything, but I'll be like, like, that's one of my weird pet peeves. I just don't know how to, like, I can't explain it. It's like harmless. Like, she, like, she doesn't mean to. Actually, I think she does, to be honest, but they one of my pet peeves. I hate when people walk slow. I hate when people talk slow. I hate when people talk like ghetto. I hate when people like try too hard to be like quirky. Um, I see that I see that shit a lot on TikTok and I'm like I have a big list of pet peeves. I hate when people talk about someone when they don't know them personally. I, I hate when girls have like unnecessary ass attitude. Like that's not cute. Sit down. But there's a lot of things. I'll probably think of more as we go. Um, fights. I've been in three fights. I'm not proud of it. So I don't want to hear no comments. I'm really not proud of it. I feel like fighting is really ghetto and a lot of things shouldn't even resort to fighting but it does um the first one was so unnecessary i was just a little eighth grader i wanted drama i was hella messy my first one was so pointless um and then the second and third one was literally like back to back it was like one day and then the next day i got another one fought tree and her sister <laughs> if you guys remember that story time it got deleted kind of upset because it had like one million views in like one day i kind of did that those fights were pretty pretty pointless too yeah and i got suspended so it really wasn't worth it but it did make a good story time if i'm being honest favorite artist at the moment i've been so into music lately like i've been finding a lot of new people my favorite artist as of recently has been daniel caesar because of his case study 01 album i'll put it right here if you don't know what it looks like this album is so good like i just don't know how to explain why i like it so much it just has like the best there's like never been an album where i like all of the songs on the album like every single song slaps there's never been an album like that except for kod by j cole i still love that album i really like daniel caesar right now and i also saw him live at camp vlognaut and i guess that kind of like sparked something because right after that i started like really getting into his music it just really speaks to me in a different way i don't know but every time i hear it it still feels like it's the first time i'm hearing it like like, I'm just so into it. What college do you want to go to if you're planning on going to college? I am planning on going to college, but then again, things change, stuff happens, like I'm still a sophomore. I am, as of right now, planning on going to college because I don't want to disappoint my parents and disappoint everybody else. Yeah, I don't know, like, 
for sure my plans after college i might go to a junior college and then transfer or i might just go to a four year or i might go out of state i might study abroad i don't know what i want to do yet but things are happening pretty fast so i kind of need to get my together i'm working on it this might sound kind of bad but i low-key like i want to pick where i want to live first and then pick my college if you know what i mean i'm not gonna pick my college and then that's just where i'm gonna live like i want to like so like i really want to live in san francisco or new york so like say if i went to new york then then i would pick a college that sounds kind of bad like i know i'm putting like my desires over my education but, i mean at least i'm still planning on going to college please don't please don't come for me if i want to go to santa barbara which is a beach in california if you don't know because not everybody lives in California. Or if like I go there, then I'll go to the Santa and Barbara. Well, actually, I don't even know if I'll get in, but that's the thing. How many boyfriends? I've had two boyfriends in my whole lifetime. One lasted for almost two years and one lasted for like four months. I'm actually proud of like how many boyfriends I've had because I didn't like date the whole school. So, um, and I love both of them still to this day. No homo downfalls of being an influencer i kind of talked about this earlier and like the pros and cons like, i get really prejudged like people don't know me but they want to act like they do another thing is i like really want to be friends with everybody in my school like i want to be friends with everybody but like people just don't like me and it sucks because i'm such like a friendly person i would consider myself like pretty easy to start a conversation with so i just i think i'm the problem i just i don't know why everybody hates me how do you feel about people calling you problematic um it doesn't really bother me because like people on the internet will call anybody problematic like the only thing some people know about me is like when i get posted on like that tiktok shade room or like any of the shade rooms literally everybody knows the only thing that they be posting is like drama and like problems and stuff so people probably think of me as like problematic if they don't already know me yeah i don't really care i was problematic like two years ago but i think i'm a lot more chill now i guess some people don't agree though your last relationship why did it end i most recently relationship it ended because we were like really toxic for each other i don't know like i definitely i i'm not gonna say he was the problem because i was low-key kind of the problem too but it was both of us but yeah he was a really cool person and i'm super glad i met him what are you the most insecure about um slow your roll i really like talking about my insecurities because like i feel like i don't know if you guys have seen that post but it's like don't talk about your insecurities because that's what people will use against you all this and that and the third I'm a little scared. I don't know. Okay, I trust you guys, so please don't come for me later on. Okay, but one thing I did learn is to not be insecure about something you can't change. It's not in your control, so like you don't, you shouldn't be insecure about it. I try to go by that a lot. Like if I can't change it, then I'll just let it go. But like obviously, I'm still gonna feel some type of way about it. One thing I'm insecure about is my nose. I feel like my nose is like built weird and also i don't want to sit here sitting like i have like the worst like ugliest nose in the world but it's just like something i'm insecure about like i don't want to i'm not gonna lie and something else is probably just like my body in general like my arms my like stomach area i feel like i could just be a lot skinnier and i know everybody has a problem with that like like i will literally see the prettiest people ever and like they'll be talking about like how they don't like their body because obviously i have a spam account and like there's girls that like talk about their body on there and i'm like are you serious like I know I'm relatively skinny and like I'm not big at all but um I don't know it's just the fact that like there's like really really toned like skinny girls and like they're like and I'm like damn I want to be like her one day I'm too insecure about it though because I just try to feel good about myself instead of like tear myself down every day because who the fuck do I look like doing that and also your body is one of the things that you can change like if you're unhappy with it you can work out at home go to the gym go on runs I'm hold up my camera's dying <sighs> so as you guys can see it's a new day new person new me what can i say so i'm just gonna be finishing some of the questions because i did want to answer some more questions but i didn't have time yesterday because my fuck ass camera battery died and i didn't have another one because everybody in this house got the same camera and they all took my batteries I think I stopped off at what are you most insecure about and I was going on a rant. I was like stupid. I'm not going to let you get the chance. Then I think I did. My sister's hella mad at me right now because I don't want to hang out with her today. And she just threw my brush at me. I was going to do my makeup right now too again, but like I don't really want to get ready right now. Too early for that. It's barely 141 in the afternoon, so I said I think I already told you guys like my physical insecurities, but I do have like some like mental, emotional, internal 
insecurities I don't know if I would call them insecurities but I always have like this tendency to like think that I'm not doing enough and I feel like that's for everybody like everybody probably thinks that like be talking to somebody and then I'll say something and I'll like immediately regret it I'll be like oh that wasn't funny enough that wasn't interesting enough like that was too boring it's weird because that's always been a thing like I would always just feel like oh that wasn't funny enough or that wasn't that wasn't this enough that wasn't that enough so weird and like I don't know how to get rid of it because like I always just feel like I need to be more than what I am. My insecurities, I feel like my worst fear is like being too boring and I just don't know how to get rid of it. Do you prefer being single or in a relationship? I definitely prefer, actually I like both. Like whatever state I'm in, I'm fine with. Like if I'm single, I'm not gonna be like rushing to get into a relationship and if I'm in a relationship, I'm not gonna like crave to be single. So it just kind of depends, like if I'm there, then I enjoy it and if I'm not, then I don't. I do like being single because I'm pretty much just free and I don't have to like constantly be texting someone or worrying about lagging or just worrying about giving someone attention. Because being in a relationship is like low key kind of a lot of work, especially if you're like busy, you have things to do throughout the day like me. But I like being in a relationship because I always feel loved and like I always have someone to talk to you just like everybody like sometimes I'm in moods where like I don't want to talk to nobody and like everybody's getting on my nerves and I just don't want to talk but yeah but then sometimes I do want to talk to someone and then like they're always there so like whoever I'm in a relationship with which I've only been into I also just like the love and the dates and like spoiling each other and just like FaceTime calls okay I need to get on my feelings <laughs> anyways yeah, both are good. I don't really prefer any specific one. Ethnicity, and by the way, I love you so much. Thank you, I love you more so much too. I'm white, Japanese, and Mexican. I'm Japanese and Mexican because my dad, and I'm white because my mom. So she just blessed me with the jeans. So I get a lot of questions about that. I don't even know if I look Asian at all. Like some people say I do and some people say I don't, but... I mostly just look like a white girl. Did you ever go back to your old style? Um, honestly, I was like contemplating because a lot of people like that style, but I hated it. Like, like obviously when I was in that style and I was dressing like that last year, like I loved it. It was so fun to me. Because, like, it was so fun putting my outfits together and stuff. But now that I'm looking back at it, like I hate it. Like, I feel like I would never be able to pull that off again. I just because I was like younger or maybe because I had bangs or maybe because it was just popular at that time but I would never go back to that I don't know how I had so much balls to dress like that like how I would never do that to myself right now like it's crazy like I was so bold and I didn't even realize it honestly it was a really good era of me like it was a really cool time in my life It was like around the time that I got like the most known like I got the most followers and stuff um, but I wouldn't go back to that because I just I like how I am now but what's the name of the playlist you listen to most often let me see. Okay, I make a new playlist like every three weeks because I just have to like switch up my music because I listen to music all the time. Um, okay, so it's called Nothing. That's what my playlist is called for the time being and I currently have 8 hours and 38 minutes. Sounds like a good playlist to me, you guys should go follow it. Okay, so those are gonna be all the questions that I'm answering. I feel like I answered a lot and I definitely wanna do a video like this again because it was really calming just, you know, answering questions. I feel like this is good. I don't even know if you guys care though, but it's okay. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace!